hello everyone so now let's do one more lap as per our student request we are going to do some basic lap basic configuration so let's start i will create a new lap i will give here cisco we can give any name i am using as a cisco asa basic configuration okay so in this uh, video we are going to learn the basic configuration so we will set up a lab so we are going to recall or we are going to use the same lab in number of uh, videos okay so let me set up i have this image okay this is a asa image i am using default configuration it is going to consume 2 gb ram okay so this is asa firewall what i will do i will take two switches if you want to take iol switch you can take that one or if you want to take the unmanageable switch you can take that one but anyhow now i am using iol switch this is a layer to switch let me change the name i will say sw and quantity i need to and here i will change the image let me keep the image as this one okay 1 gb each switch is going to consume okay so let me keep this here let me rename this to sw1 okay and other one is a sw2 this is a sw2 so now this is the switch we can say inside outside we are going to define that one no need to worry i have this switch okay this is another switch let me connect this one is connecting e0 by 0 is connecting to e0 ethernet 0 of the asa firewall okay we can take anything just i am connecting this way and here another cable i will connect here the ethernet one is going to connect to this switch and let me take the pc we can take the window xp any pc we can take let me take one router okay i will take one router this is one router i can uh, change the icon or if i want i can keep here later we will see let me give any name i will give r1 okay r1 is a router and configuration i will take the default everything will be default one router i taken here i need one more let me take one more router also because outside also i am going to connect so i can give name any name we can give i am giving the router 2 okay so let's see imagine this is outside this is inside so i will connect this here this router and we will take server so what i will do i can take the window pc let me check i have the window machine this one it is going to consume 4 gb ram okay icon you can select anything okay so let me take this is a window xp and this r1 is going to connect here and this window xp is also going to connect here name if you want i can change the name to my pc or pc1 anything we can give win pc1 any name we can give okay and what else i will keep here one server okay i will take window only in window i install this one server also like uh, we will see if window is having some issue then i will take router i am going to configure the http on the router here i will write window pc 2 okay we will see no issue but it is going to consume 4 gb ram let me change the icon icon we will change as this one or if you want as we want to use as a server so let me select the server icon okay we can use anything our wish whatever you want to use we can use the router okay so this one i connected here now i will start the asc firewall later we are going to do so many thing here just i am designing the setup first we will focus on the asa firewall what we can configure what is the basic step we will learn that one later we are going to use the same lab to configure many thing okay let me write the ip schema what i am going to use so let me start here i will use 192.168.1.0 okay 1.0 i am going to use this side and uh, the other side i am going to use 2.0 okay 192.168 2.0 so this way and what i can say here 
I can uh, put here duplicate and here let me assign the IP here 1.1 1 .1, okay let me put here 1.1 1 .1, this one and our wish whatever IP you want to use you can use just I am putting here so by seeing this one you will have the idea what IP is present inside this PC inside this router that's why I am keeping here and this side should be I will take as a dot hundred okay we can take anything but I am going to keep here dot hundred to this interface this interface let me move this like this okay this is dot hundred and here also dot hundred dot hundred means 192.168.1.100 1 here 192 2 dot hundred this interface okay and here also we can uh, keep this like uh, 192, 2.1, okay, and this is a 2.2, .2. we can give like this, later we are going to discuss in detail many things, but now this is a basic setup, I set up this one, now let's see, I will open this uh, command prompt, okay, it will open the ASA firewall, if you see this is a ASA firewall CLI, and I, cl I click here enter, so you can see by default it is written as a Cisco ASA. If you remember, whenever we are doing the CCNA, CCNP, when we open the console of the router, you can see inside the router by default written as a router. Okay, I will show you that also now. And when we see inside the ASA firewall, it is written as a Cisco ASA. Okay, let me show you that one here. By default, it is written as a router in the router cisco router same like that in the asa it is written as a cisco asa and this is the greater than symbol okay here also same thing but here is written as a router here it is written as a cisco asa i will press enter okay uh, and i will write enable en when i write enable it will uh, give the password and there is a no password by default if we press enter we will go in the another mode okay if you see here what i done i put enable it is asking me password i press enter without writing anything okay there is no password just we need to press enter if i want to go in the global configuration mode write config t so we will go in the global configuration mode same as in the router as we are doing if you see this is the router i will write en then i will go in the global configuration mode okay if i want to exit i will write exit and i will be back here same here i will write here exit to come back to the privilege mode okay user mode privilege mode if you remember same thing same concept we will use it here and what else we can see if you want to change the name change the name of the asa firewall first you need to go in the configuration mode then we will write the host name and write the name ASA and press enter. So see name is changed here. Same thing if you want to do in the router what we are doing same thing we are doing right. So this command is same I will write this R1 okay. So now the uh, host name that is the router name change from router to R1. In the ASA also same thing we will use the host name and give the name that name will change. Because when we are deploying this in our branch office or head office, we will put the name here. Example, your branch is in Delhi. We will write here Delhi ASA. If your branch is in Bangalore, we will write here Bangalore ASA. Your branch is in Dubai, we will write Dubai ASA. Depend company to company. So easily when we do the remote access for this firewall, by seeing the name we know this is this firewall for this branch easily easy to troubleshoot easy to understand this firewall deploy where okay and also we are going to use the ip schema so with the ip schema also we know this firewall is deploy where okay and if you see here this mode let me exit here and exit this one this mode we are calling as a unprivileged mode okay unprivileged mode this mode is known as unprivileged mode if i write here in en and press enter it is asking me password but brand new asa is not having any password just press enter and this mode we call as a 
privilege mode in the ESA firewall. Let me repeat again what I am saying here because you need to remember this name. When we have this greater than symbol, we call this one as a unprivileged mode. Okay. When you have this ladder symbol, hash symbol, the number hash as we are writing number one, number two, like that. But here if a hash is coming, we will call that as a privilege mode. Okay. So we need to remember this is a unprivileged mode in the ASA firewall. We call this one as a unprivileged mode. This one is a privilege mode and the other mode is let me show you that one also config T this one we call as a configuration mode. Okay. This one is a configuration mode. If you see like this, we can we call configuration mode because when you want to do any configuration, you need to go in the configuration mode. How you know the ASA is in the configuration mode. If it is uh, appearing like this, then we can say now ASA in the configuration mode. If you want to change anything, example, I want to go to some interface. Okay, interface, fast Ethernet or let me check. Uh, one more thing I will show you. Example, if I want to check the interface status, what I will do in the router, I will go here. Okay, in the router, I will write show IP. Let me write again, show IP interface brief. With this one, we will check the interface status in the router R1, R2, R3. In the Cisco router, if you want to check the interface status, we will write show IP interface brief. Shortcut we will say SH IP interface brief BR. If you want to write full, write SH, press tab key, it will come full. IP tab key, INT interface, press tab key and BR and press tab key, it will come full form. So with this command, we will check the status of the interface in the Cisco router. If you want to check in the ASA firewall, Cisco ASA firewall, what we need to write show interface IP brief. Okay. With this one, we will check. Let me write full form show 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 interface IP brief this command. Okay. But in router, we are writing show IP interface brief. When we write this one, this will not work. If you see invalid command, this IP is going to move from here to here after interface. This will come from here to here. Let me show you in the router. You will write like this show IP interface brief, but in the Cisco ASA, this IP will come here after interface. Okay. Like this show interface IP brief. So with this one, we will check the interface status. If you see, I have Ethernet zero in this ASA firewall in this model is uh, Ethernet zero, Ethernet one, Ethernet two, Ethernet three, unassign the IP address status is okay. Unset administratively done because we did not put no shut here. So by default, all the Cisco router and the ASA firewall interface is done. We need to write no shut. So it will move up. Okay. And what else we can do? We can go inside any interface. Let me show you. If you want to go under any interface in the router also, what we will do first, we will go in the global configuration mode. Then we will write interface and give the interface name fast Ethernet zero by zero. So we go inside the interface. Okay. We call like uh, configuration sub mode. Same here in the ASA also, I will go config T and then interface Ethernet zero example. I have Ethernet zero here. If you see, this is a Ethernet zero. So I type here in interface Ethernet zero. So I am inside the sub interface global sub interface global sub mode. We can uh, we can call this one as a global sub mode. If you see this one is a uh, configuration mode. Okay. Let me repeat again. Maybe you will confuse here. This is a global configuration mode. Okay. We are using this one to do any configuration. So we can say global configuration mode or configuration mode. And if you are inside the configuration, but inside another mode, so we can call this is a configuration sub mode. Okay. And what else we can use if you want to uh, return the remove the configuration example in the ASA firewall, if you want to remove the all configuration, what we can do? We can write here config. Okay. Config configure 
configure factory default configure factory default and press enter it will delete it will uh, what we can say restore to factory default configuration example you have some configuration this firewall is in your warehouse okay in some project they use and after that the project is finished they return back to the warehouse it is in your warehouse in your company warehouse now you have some requirement in your company you want to deploy this firewall so when you take this firewall you will reset because there is a lot of configuration present already in this firewall we need to remove we need to delete everything so what we can do we have two three method we can clear configuration all to delete the configuration or we have another method we can restore to the factory default configuration whatever factory default configuration come if you want to do that one write config factory default with this command we will reset to factory like brand new firewall when it is come to us how it have what configuration we have that will be there sometime we need to do that one so we can do by using this uh, command but don't uh, run this command in your production network where everything is running you will face the issue okay so this command we use when we want to uh, what we can say default factory configuration when we want to uh, put to restore to factory default configuration okay i will not press enter because it will delete and it will restart reboot so it will take time so i will just say okay okay if you want i can do but now it will take a lot of time again for us so let me not do that one just remember the command what i wrote here after that if you want to clear example imagine you want to clear some configuration so you can write clear okay config confi configuration let me correct the spelling c o n f i g u r e clear if you press tab it will come also press tab confi g u r e configure clear configure if you press question mark you have here okay this command is not running here let me check because in other model it is working let me write clear and press question mark if you want to clear the configuration also we have here but here in this model we don't have i think if you want to clear the configuration we will use the command clear configuration all but in, in this firewall we don't have but other uh, thing we have like example if you want to clear the dscp if you want to clear the what we can say the triple a or triple a server access list we can use okay so we can use this one if you want to remove the configuration we can use this command where i put okay i remove that one the one uh, what i am saying configure factory default okay and if you want to uh, erase the configuration how we can erase we have one more method we can write okay then you press question mark you can see the option this one we will use write erase why we are using this write erase erase the startup configuration if you want to erase the startup configuration then we can write this uh, write erase okay clear the flash memory configuration if i press like this they will ask me erasing configuration in confirm press yes it will erase okay it will erase the configuration startup configuration but don't do in the production network so now it is having the new thing let me check here okay okay so when i put that command it uh, what i can say it erase everything okay so we can do this way also and we have the other commands also in the coming class we are going to discuss that one okay here they are giving put the management ip if i want to configure that one i put yes here that's why he is going to ask all the thing but anyhow uh, what we can say today we learn about some modes and uh, we check some commands in the coming classes we are going to run the show commands and copy and we are going to learn how we can enable the telnet something we are going to learn okay so here just we set up the what we can say some topology in the coming classes we are going to configure different uh, policy and different thing and we are going to test okay Thank you. See you. Okay. Bye.